Yesterday we went to a Thanksgiving meal with some friends that I've known forever. And their little girl had a Christmas wish list and a Christmas needs. And on number four on the list was a Paul Cardall CD. And I was like, man, that's, who cares about Billboard charts when you got like number four on a little kid's Christmas list? I thought that was awesome. This is a cabin that's been in my family since my dad was a little boy. I come up here a lot in the summer. Tina loves this place. It's just a nice getaway. There's no internet. There's really nothing to do here except relax and walk around, hike. I fish a little bit. Anytime you go somewhere away from your work environment, it takes like a day or two to actually get to that moment where you can completely disconnect. We're attached to our phones, we're attached to our computers. I had to drive down to pick up the girls from their mom, and I, for a second, thought, man, should I be posting on Facebook today? I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But I did it. <laughs> I cave in. <laughs> it's just nice to have the girls up here. and uh, My brother is here. Craig, he's the youngest. My parents have eight kids, four boys, four girls. And so he grew up around all the married couples and all the adult conversations. I think little siblings bring some glue to the family because all of my siblings helped raise me. I was 10 years old when Craig was born. And I remember the day he came home and he was just this cute little boy. And of course, then we all grow up. <laughs> no, I didn't play a lot with Paul. I, I remember him teasing me a lot. So he was always the jokester of the family. And he just did funny stuff as a kid. And, um... <laughs> Perfect timing, right? My family's big on that. We do, we, we get together all the time. Mm -hmm. And so Tina and I were trying to figure out what is it that we all have in common, because we're so different. We all have, we're so unique. We, we have different characteristics, different personalities, and yet what's this common thing that keeps bringing us back together? And obviously it's my parents who are still together and completely in love, but it's, I think it's, it's Christ. We all love him. And so when we get into arguments or little things like that, that kind of supersedes everything else. What's your favorite thing about being dead? This. This is what fatherhood is all about. Right here, this then, you know, and finding Uno cards in the couch. What do you want to do? You want a marshmallow? Okay. <laughs> so my family on Thanksgiving every Wednesday, we do it, we do it on Wednesday because thurs, Thursday is typically Thanksgiving. I think my mom was really smart because she's, they know we can get out of it. <laughs> so we gathered there for a little while, had turkey and listened to that, you know, the whole time. <laughs> you can't wait. Broccoli. So you were gonna talk about how you cannot live without me. Like if you don't see me for more than a minute, it I cry. Out. You cry. Having fun? Here, throw a snowball at daddy. Throw it at him. Here, throw a snowball at dad. Throw it at him. Ah! Look, I'm gonna throw one at dad. Look. What Tina does for me is she... She knows who I am and what I need, and she understands. She makes me feel like the most normal person in the world. But I'm probably not. One of my prayers has always been that I would marry into a really big family, especially a family that loved the Lord. I really wanted that um, more than anything. I wanted to be with someone that 
was going to lead me and guide me and had an amazing love for the Lord. Someone that could really bring me along and teach me and Paul is really all of that.